this. So, uh, dealing with chronic heel pain, so you may be experiencing something, it's a condition known as plantar fasciitis. To explain that, we have Canadian certified podiatrist and manager at Kintac Footwear and Orthotics, Corey Berghall. Good to see you there, Corey. <laughs> Good morning. Been to the store a couple of times. I've uh, been to the Hamilton one and the St. Catharines one. Yeah. Third store now in Stony Creek. Stony Creek. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, plantar fasciitis. Yeah. I've had it. Yeah. I know what it feels like. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> How do we get it? Yeah, so we often see most people, you know, if you're standing for extended periods of time, um, especially if you're stationary, um, depending on types of footwear you're wearing, uh, standing for, like I said, extended periods can be a huge, a huge factor. Okay, what this. are some signs that you might have plantar fasciitis? Yeah, so a lot of our patients that come through the door, we see um, pain first thing in the morning when you're getting out of bed, feeling that sharp uh, sensation in the foot, feels like you're stepping on a tack, or sort of that dark, uh, dull, achy pain throughout the day. Um, two of the most common things. Because when I, what I learned from you guys too is because at night when we're sleeping, it's trying to heal itself. Yeah, absolutely. So as you relax and your toes sort of point away from you during sleep, that plantar fascia gets really, really tense. It gets really tight. Um, and that's why most people experience that pain first thing in the morning. As soon as you step down onto the floor, that tissue now expands. It's, you know, it's trying to overwork or overstretch itself and, and, and leads to pain. Okay, how do we get rid of it? How can we help it? Yeah, so there's lots of different ways. Um, a big thing with us is looking at things like footwear or orthotics, of course. Um, finding shoes such as the Hoka brand that have this really thick stack height, as we call it. Um, and a little bit of that four foot rocker to help, you know, initiate it. Because that's what helped for me. So like you guys put me in one of these that I wore around the house, like just running shoes in the house all the time. Yep. Because it really, and then with orthotics. Yeah. So, so the kind of the combo effort. For sure, yeah. And a lot of times that, that's what we're looking at, right? Looking at an orthotic that has certain features in it, like a heel well, something where we can actually punch a hole through the shell of the orthotic. It offloads pressure from things like heel spurs or from the plantar fascia at its insertion. Because there's different levels, I'm assuming. Like every, some people have it more severe than other people? Yeah, absolutely. We often will say the longer that you've had it, the longer it can take for it to go away as well. Um, so sometimes we have to sort of tackle multiple treatment options to help it. You know, dissipate. Like something like this. What would this be used for? Yeah. So this is what's called a plantar fascia or plantar fasciitis night splint. Um, so it is something that you'd wear for sleep, and that helps again sort of stretch the plantar fascia, stretch the calf and Achilles. So first thing in the morning, it eliminates that pain. You're stepping right into that. Uh, yeah. So oh, yeah, right. you would just wear it for oh, sleep. Oh, sorry, you wear it for yeah, sleep. Just right. wear it for sleep. But I know even let's say okay, so these sandals. Yeah. Um, wearing around the house. Yeah, so finding something to wear at home can be huge for most people, whether it be a sandal or a slipper that you can put your orthotic into. Like, that's what I, so we have a, we have a pair down here for me. Um, <laughs> so even getting out of bed, not wearing something like that, no, and, but you just even, as soon as you step out of bed, you're stepping into something like this. Yeah, for sure. And that's, that's a huge thing for a lot of people, especially now, a lot of people working from home, wearing in-home footwear is, is massive. Okay. What's the best way to do it? So you have to, do you need an appointment to come into Kintac? Like what are, you, what are you doing for people? Yeah, so you can do a few things. The best thing right now is to book what's called a one-to-one -one appointment. It's completely free for all of our patients coming through. Um, and you're one-on-one -on -one with one of our fitting experts. From there, we can you know, talk a little bit about history, what type of pain you're experiencing, and then look at treatment options as because well. Because then as far as like, does everybody need orthotics or it might not be that as severe as that? Yeah, not everybody needs to go into an orthotic and that's why we offer that one-to-one. -one. If it's something where we think an orthotic could benefit you, then we can book you in for a longer orthotic assessment. Okay, so there's three locations. You got one in Hamilton, one in Stony Creek, and one in, uh, in St. Catharines, yeah. Kintec. Um, you can come see Corey or, or anybody else in there. Something like there's always things like this too. I use this one, yeah. right? That helped too. Just even when you're sitting around watching TV, yeah. just working that to help that out too. Okay, absolutely. All good. All good uh, tips because I know somebody watching right now probably has that pain and you're just getting into the bed <laughs> this morning. So thanks for helping us out, Corey. Thank you. More money live on your Monday coming up after this. Peace. How's it feel?